in May. We're talking about mental health, and today we're looking at the best way to choose a therapist. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli is live in Rutherfordton at Blue Ridge Hope, and this is such a chemistry we issue. We love these guys, yes. We, Travis Smith, a little chemistry can't hurt, right? We're so glad we have it because he's Absolutely. helping us communicate. I think we do. Absolutely. To our viewers Feeling this morning. It. <laughs> Listen, it can work and it cannot work with a therapist. Right. And you should not be afraid to go ahead and make that switch Absolutely. if it's not working out, right? How in the world do we know that it's successful? You know, that's a great question. And I think part of how you know is how do you feel? Like when you come out of there, you know, we all of us have a knowing inside of us, a deep knowing. So when we come out of those sessions or we come out of those situations where we've had that conversation with a the therapist, how did it make us feel? Number one, did we feel heard? Did we feel listened to? Did we trust them? But two, can we start to tell the difference? Like, did it feel lighter being in that room with that person or on screen if we're doing telehealth? Did we feel like there was something about expressing the emotions or words that we needed to use to verbalize our mm. feelings? Do we feel lighter in the instance? I think that's important. You also mentioned, though, you may not. You may, you may not feel so great. After Absolutely, the first especially after the first session. You know, I often say that sometimes when we begin to work with emotions, it's not unlike a wound. If you begin to heal it and begin to work on it, it's going to be more tender. You're going to agitate it. Feelings are the same way. Emotions are the same way. When we get into those sensitive areas, it's going to hurt worse, maybe for a little while. And you know, one of the things I forgot to mm -hmm. ask you, and really quickly, because of course we're running out of time, but is there almost that trust that you can have with somebody, but then they're also legally, they, they have to keep that information. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, counselors, you know, they're, they're, their code of ethics is to be confidential. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So important to know sure. that. I, I, I know it's maybe a given to some, not to me. Absolutely. Plenty of resources. I've got them up. They're at WSPA.com. Travis yeah. is going to give me plenty more. We will help in any way we can, even psychology today, like photographer Ryan was showing you, a great resource where you can find a therapist or counselor. There's plenty of ways to do it, guys. More at our website. Back to you. All right, and we'll see you next half hour. 722 is the time. Thanks. There's a live look from Spruce Pine, North Carolina on a Monday. This is Carolina Morning.